Oh, in ni beni o se alafia ni mo ba yin se dada ni ah in okun in ora in temi lule loko la ya lohun lekiti o ki yin o o ki yin toto in se o in sere in kabo in ku yin It is only natural that I should kick off our Yoruba history series with that of the Ikiti people right after this one on the origin of the Yoruba people. And that is because your host is a proud Ikiti indigen. In this video, we will explore the origin of the Ikiti people, that is where they were, who they were before they came to be where is now known as Ikiti state today. We we'll also talk about their culture, their administrative structure traditionally, and their food, you know, everything about them that is possible to explore. And there is a special feature at the end of, of this video. That is why you should watch this video till the end because you get to learn the Ekiti State Anthem. Don't even skip a bit. Ka bai bere awi kabati agun yes a je when narrating history i like to establish two facts the first and foremost is that the bulk of our african history are orally documented what this means is in old times past history was passed down verbally from one generation to the next so this person um, tells his child this child tells his own child and then on and on until it keeps passing that way and usually what happens is there tends to be addition and subtraction so it is like we say because of that you have different accounts this person believes this is how we came to be that person believes that is how we came to be now on the other hand we have um, myth and legend so when you take a look at most histories there is usually one that is myth and one that is legend so the legends are usually um real stories where this person left to so, so place and traveled and traveled and traveled until they got to a certain place on the other hand the myths are usually kind of like over the top where they, they can say something like oh um this person dropped down from the sky like we have in the origin of the yoruba history where the mystical account says uh, Oduduwa, you know, descended on a chain onto the earth into the place that is now known as Ileife in Yoruba land. So we have those two um, different categories. The history of the Ekiti people tells the line of legend much more than myth. This is because the people trace their roots back to Ileife. And like I already explained, we believe that Ileife is the origin of you know the yoruba race oduduwa is our progenitor or our first ancestor and you know what have you still the history of ekiti or the ekiti people split in two ways that is there are two different accounts Olafin, one of oduduwa's children left ilefe with his 16 children looking for a new land to settle in and develop from ilefe they journeyed through Iweleru, that is at Isharu, to Iguaka, and from there they got to Ileoluji, where they decided to, you know, stay and rest. After resting for a bit, they picked up their journey again. They journeyed until they arrived at Ijesha and Igbomino. There, two of Olofin's children stayed back and decided to develop the place. Owa Obokun took Ijesha, while Orogun took Ila. The remaining 14 children continued their journey with their father until they arrived at the place that is now known as Ikiti State. Although there's a speculation that there were some aboriginals there in the land, in the place, before Olofi and his children arrived. The second account is linked directly to Odudua. It is believed that he traveled to the second Ife, which is Ife Oyelago. On getting there, he met some people. He met Agmon Iregun, Obatala, Orelure, Elesije, Obamere. 
Obale Jugbe, amongst others. In fact, Agbon Iregun and his descendants are believed to be the original settlers in Ekite, according to this account. Some of Agbon Iregun's sons were Alara and Ajero. Until date, these two are some of the Class A traditional rulers in Ekiti state. Agbon Iregun, who is also called Babaifa or Orumila, lived most of his life in Ado, and that is why till date we have a saying that Ado Nileifa, which also explains why the Ewi of Ado is also a prominent traditional ruler in Ekiti state. Tell me in the comment section which of these two accounts sound more relatable. For me, it has to be the first one. Despite the historical account of the Ekiti people, it is important to also mention that each village or town in Ekiti state has their own migration story. A typical example is where I come from in Ekiti state. My own ancestor migrated from Owa in Kwara state. Also, a peculiar characteristic is that every town in Ekiti state takes on the suffix Ekiti. For example, in Ekiti, Ado Ekiti, Omo Ekiti. The reason for this is to establish their Unitarianism, the reason for which would be explored further on in this video. So, who are the Ekiti people? Before the colonial era, the Ekiti people were once ruled by or your empire and Bini empire at some point in time as well there were fulani invaders who were out to capture people into slavery after the fall of your empire arela Tuisha wanted to unify the western yoruba land with the eastern yoruba land however the ekiti people wanted to retain their confederacy so it was more like they revolted this push to take over eastern yoruba in addition to Ajele's excesses, all led to a war that lasted for about 16 years from 1877 to 1893. While the women, children, and aged were hidden away, the men fought back and they fought hard from 1877 to 1886 when the British intervened and gave Ekiti people their independence. However, the conflict did not end. It continued here and there back and forth until the British won the war against the Ijebu people in the British Ijebu War in 1893. This war is known as the Kiriji War or Ekitiparako War because this was when all the Eastern Yoruba land came together, unified as an army to fight against Ibadan especially. You know what, this Kiriji war deserves a video on its own and I think you should watch out for it. In the present day, the Ekiti people are a group of Yoruba natives in the southwestern part of Nigeria. The name Ekiti was coined from Ileolokiti, that is a land filled with mountains. Okiti in that phrase has now metamorphosed into Ekiti. Formerly, the state used to be a part of Ondo state, but on October 1st, 1996, it was carved out as a state on its own, and the state capital is Adoikiti. The sitting governor is Governor Kayode Fayemi. In Ekiti, there are over 150 towns and villages spread across 16 local government areas. The Ekiti people speak a dialect known as Ekiti dialect. However, there are slight variations because of influence of bordering towns. So for instance, Okiako, Irele, Omoke, all have similar dialects to the Ijumu people in Kwara state. While Efualai and Okimesi have similar dialect to that of the Ijeshas in Oshun state. Still, the upside to all of this is no matter where the person is from in Ekiti state, once they speak the dialect, you know they are from Ekiti and you can typically understand what they're saying. The basic way to greet in Ekiti dialect is Inyorao, Shala Nishi. And to say thank you, we say Insheon or Inshere. The staple meal of the Ekiti people is Inyo, Belu. Or be four. Of course, you can have it with different soups, but chiefly among those soups will be a four, a four euro, or um, a gusi. Now, 
there is special effort that is different from the green that you know or shoko we have warrior war we also have ishakpa so ishakpa is the green version of hibiscus the one that you use for zobo yeah so the green one is ishakpa for soup in my own agbole where i come from and agbole soup specular to our agbole is obe molu molu i leave you to guess what that is ekiti state slogan was formerly ori songbon until it was changed to ule uye, ule ye. and the argument was that the state cannot claim to be the fountain of wisdom i really don't know why but quite frankly the ekiti state people are stereotypes they are known to be bookworms like they give themselves to academics one day man so we are laggy digo don't tell anyone i told you that but this stereotype you know reminds me of a saying it's kind of like a word play i heard someone say he said any color was on by body way oh body way oh my kids yo cow leave a comment when you get that word play and tell me what you think it means as with the language our culture is homogeneous that means it is the same across board in the state we have different festivals and traditional events that happen and we also have our own kind of dance Traditionally, the Ekiti people are ruled by Obas, a king, and these kings are partly selected by Ifa divination. Of course, you have to come from a royal family, a ruling house, before Ifa can, you know, choose you to be a king in the town. There are three classes of traditional rulers in Ekiti, as you can see on your screen. The state has produced big shots in different industries. People like Shola Shubo Wale, Fowls, Tenny and Assista Nini, Yenka Yefele, Shadi Adu, Prof. Razak Bakari, Prof. Niyo Shundari, Tokwe Tedela, Odunla De Adekola, Prof. Banji Akintoye, Prof. Femi Falano, Chief Afe Babalola, Zlatan, Pofiti, Ulu Yemi Kayode, Ulu Soji Fashuba, Atibebelo. Whenever you're in the state, you should plan to visit Ikogosi Warm Spring, the spring boost of the confluence of cold and warm water. I'm sure there's a story behind it. Other sites you should plan to visit are Faji Memorial Park, Arinta Waterfalls, Olo Suntan Orole Hills, and Eriayonuba River in Eregenio Ekiti. Now, if you have watched up to this point, you're doing well because you get to have my promise fulfilled to you yes i will be closing this video with a kitty state anthem while i do that leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me your favorite part of this crash documentary <speaking in Spanish> Awa <speaking in Spanish> Awa ekiti wajula o malo lagbara olorun awa ekiti okon sosho ma ni wa o lai lai okon la wa nse ekiti kete o ule uyi ule ye